What do you mean, what is it? Well, what is it? Why don't you try and look harder? Look, look, it's a steaming pile of Mexican donkey crap. <laughs> look out, it's coming to get you, it's coming to get you. Okay guys, how you doing? For all of you that don't know me, my name's uh, Jordy at Carving Fusion. And in this video today, I'm gonna be showing how I make these um, pumpkin stalks out of this uh, epoxy sculpt stuff, okay? Just like this is a little one here. So I'm gonna show how I made it. These arms and these legs are also epoxy sculpt, but that's not what this video is gonna be. You'll probably be able to figure it out after this video. But yeah, so we're gonna work, work on a stock for this uh, pumpkin here. I just did this one in a live carving. I think it took me 20 minutes or something like that. But anyways, so we're gonna start off with, I got the pumpkin carved. I signed it already. I painted the inside bl eyes black and the, the mouth part black, okay? Just with dollar store paint. It's all dollar store paint guys I use. And um, what I'm gonna do is clean off the outside of these cut mark, these, uh, See here where I painted and I went over there? I'm going to pull up my little flap sander and clean all that up on this pumpkin and this pumpkin. Then I'm going to apply the orange paint. You guys can use any color paint you want. You can mix it with brown. You can mix it with red. You can do whatever you want. Okay, so then I'm going to paint it. Then I'm going to do a green wash over it. And then I'm going to use the Mod Podge. And then we'll get to this part, which this video is about. Okay. Okay, you guys can see here I got all my edges clean they're all sharp now so now what I'm gonna do is use this dollar store orange paint art deco pure oh it's called pure pumpkin look at that pure pumpkin <laughs> uh, custom car infusion paint tray and uh, you know you just dip your thing in here and you start painting it orange just like that guys so I just kind of, um, you know, if you paint, paint inside the black, you can always go back with black and touch it up again. Okay, so when I do the edges, I go towards the edges. I don't start at the edges because then you have a better chance of, uh, you let the, you have a better patches, chance of getting the orange inside the um, black. Okay, so I'll get this done and I'll be back. Pumpkin time, pumpkin time. Holy, are those ever bright pumpkins, you say? They sure are. Okay, so um, I uh, painted them, touched up the eyes just a little bit, no big deal. I uh, used my blow dryer to uh, dry the painting. Now we'll do the uh, wash, okay? So we got uh, some water here. More dollar store paint. Shake her up. And uh, put a little bit of paint in there and get your paintbrush and you just mix the paint in the water just like that <clears throat> excuse me and um, let's give it a bit of a yellow too just to give it a bit more uh, a little bit brighter if it's if there's yellow in here okay where's the yellow oh, it's got one of those oh, oops okay That's what I'd call a paint fart, a dollar store paint fart. Okay, so that looks like a pretty good wash. So let's get the pumpkin that we're going to make the stock for. We're going to make stocks for both these pumpkins. And just slap the paint on there and give it a wash, just like this. Okay, so I'll just get this done. And then you wipe it off with a rag or paper towel. And there, you see it's not so, it's not so friggin' orange. So this little guy's done. Now let's pull out the big brush. And you slap her on. Yep, just get her on there. We have no time to waste. Okay, guys, so it's all dry now. Um, I could have made the uh, wash a bit darker, but no big deal. You can kind of see it's got a green tints in there. 
So that's what the wash does. It kind of makes it, what's the word, uh, antiqued. Just Carve Rob does it a lot, and uh, Ben's studio on the lake does it lots. So um, let's get this uh, Mod Podge on. This stuff's pretty new to me, guys, but I really enjoy this stuff, right? Mod Podge, it's super old stuff. It's been around forever. Water-based glue, sealer, and finish. I just like the way it uh, it gives like an old-school kind of shine off these things. It makes it look kind of older. I got some in the uh, cup here. So let's get this stuff. It's, see, it's white, guys, but this stuff dries. If you don't put it on too thick, it will dry up crystal clear. Okay. So let's get this on. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to have to get this Mod Podge on here. And I guess I'll be back when it dries because you guys don't want to be bored with watching me Mod Podge. I looked up the name where the Mod Podge, uh, how it came to the name. I forget that. I forget how it did. Some lady invented it. But somebody else, I forget who it was, said that you can make your own Mod Podge with uh, Elmer's glue or something. I don't know. Probably a lot cheaper way to do it, but this this is good enough for me for now. I spent about five thousand dollars in the last two days on different types of Mod Podge. I even got that outdoor stuff. I got spray stuff, but uh, I'll just use this stuff for now. Okay. So how about I get all this done and then uh, I'll be back. Okay. Yeah. All right. Be in a bit. Okay, you guys can see this one's all done. Just waiting for that white to uh, dry. Yeah, so I got this stuff too. This is the Mod Podge Ultra. It's like a liquid. You can see it in there. So I figured that I'll do this one with this, so we can see the difference when they dry. Right? This was this wasn't tw this was twenty bucks, but you could probably do about um, I'd say a good thirty of these pumpkins with this. You don't need that much. So let's um. Get this on there, okay, just like a push thing. Let's get this on there and see the difference between the two when this dries. Okay, okay guys, so there's, it's pretty well dry. It's been about an hour, okay. So this one was done with this Mod Podge Ultra. Okay, and this one is done with the uh, Mod Podge, like a... Uh, just brush on glue paste stuff so you guys can you guys can be the judge i like this one way better see look at the gloss on it you hardly even see the gloss on the other one and guys this wood was punky wood it's way softer so this sucked it in way more too right this was pretty hard wood took me a while to carve that pumpkin but you so my uh decision is da 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 Mod Podge gloss, water-based glue sealer finish. I think this was like uh, 15 bucks and this one was 20 bucks. I'll still use this stuff though for like when I do the show Sugi Bound. I gotta spray it on first. I also got this stuff, Matt, but this is just kind of like a regular acrylic sealer, I think. So guys, I've run out of time today. So this is going to be a uh, part one of a two series uh, video series. We're not going to be able to do the epoxy sculpt today. Um, I'll be doing this tomorrow's video because this stuff, you know, it takes a while to dry. It takes 24 hours to really cure. So in the meantime, I'm going to put another coat. I'm going to coat this over top of that one to make it shinier. And then tomorrow I'll be back and we'll talk about making the uh, epoxy sculpt um, stocks out of the pumpkins with mixed with green dye uh green green dollar store paint too so sorry guys i just uh you know it's pretty smoky around here today too uh liz and Tammy. you know you guys that are getting affected by those fires it's reached uh british columbia so can uh vancouver so we'll talk to you guys soon and uh sorry i couldn't do the video all the video today but we'll be doing this epoxy sculpt i'll be at it tomorrow and we'll get that video uh uploaded by tomorrow night okay Thanks, guys.